Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today we're going to go over the neuron. In your anatomy and physiology class, you'll be required to know the structure and the function of the neuron. Behind me, I have a diagram of a neuron that I'm going to go over for you. And then afterwards, I highly encourage you to go to my website, RegisterNurseRN.com and take the neuron quiz that goes along with this video and download the study notes as well. So you can be prepared for your AMP lecture exam. So let's get started. The nervous system is made up of nervous tissue. There's two types of nervous tissue. The first type are called neurons. And these are excitable nerve cells that transmit electrical signals. The second type are support cells. These are non-excitable cells that wrap around and surround the neuron. The neuron has three specific special characteristics about it. The first is that they have extremely longevity. They last over 100 years. That's why we only have one set of neurons and they last us our whole life. Two, they do not divide and they can't be replaced. So once a neuron's gone, it's gone. You can't infuse it like you can red blood cells. And thirdly, lastly, they have a high metabolic rate and they require continuous amounts of oxygen and glucose. So they're, a they're high maintenance and they use a lot of resources to keep them powered. Now, let's go over the structure of the neuron. So be sure to take some notes so you can write down what we're gonna go over. Okay, here we have a basic neuron. And we're gonna start with the cell body. The cell body is this whole area right here, and it is sometimes called the soma, and it contains one nucleolus surrounded by cytoplasm. Inside the cell body, you have the nucleus, and the nucleus is a spherical clear area that contains a dark nucleolus in the center, and I like to remember it as it looks like an eye, like an eye of an owl, and it's found in the middle. Then you have the chromophilic nissel bodies, and these are found in the cytoplasm and continually renew the membrane of the cell and the protein part of the cytol. And remember in our other video when we went over the cell, the cytol is just the liquid found inside the cell. And then next, you have some lysosomes. And again, we remember from that lecture, lecture that these just digest free radicals or any germs around. I like to remember that by the product Lysol. We spray Lysol disinfectant to get rid of germs. So that's all that little thing does. And then next, we have the mitochondria. And the mitochondria, of course, is the powerhouse of the cell body. It keeps everything powered. And then next, we have neutrofibrils, and these are these little pink strands throughout this cell body. And what this is, is a bundle of intermittent filaments that run in a network between these chromatophilic bodies, and they keep the cell from being pulled, to, from being pulled apart. So it just keeps the structure nice and sound. And then next, we have our dendrite. The dendrite, as you can tell, looks like limbs on a tree. So whenever you're having to label your diagram, remember these little limbs on a tree and that are your, that's your dendrites. And your dendrites are receptive sites that conduct electricity toward the cell body. So they direct the signal toward the cell body. So always remember that. That's usually a test question. A test question usually says, does the dendrite conducts electric electrical signal blank towards the cell body? So it would be towards instead of away, which we'll go over axon here in a second. And um, then you have your initial segment. The initial segment arises from this area, which is the axon hillock, which helps the neuron to split apart and branch down through your axon. So that's just a little part, and it's this area right in here. And then the axon hillock, hillock actually means little hill, and this is just where it's moving up in little hill formation, and that's just this area right there. And next we have our axon collateral, and this is where this axon is actually splitting off. And this is where it just extends the axon at right angles. So whenever you see it splitting, that's where your axon collateral is. Now to the axon. The axon conducts electrical signals away from the neuron. So remember, axon starts with A, and it will take the signals away from the neuron. Now remember, the dendrite took it toward. I like to remember dendrite starts with D. It drags it 
towards it, but the axon carries it away. That's usually always a test question, so remember that about axon. Next, your terminal branches. This is where your axon has branched off and then it's forming the axon terminals. This is just where you have tens of thousands of these per neur neuron, these little branches, which is absolutely impressive, and it just helps form the axon terminal. And the axon terminal are these little knob formations, and this is where they contact each other, they contact other neurons to form synapses. And then last but not least are your Schwann, Schwann cells. And these form myelin sheaths around the axons. So that's all that those little blue things do. Now let's go over a couple quiz questions. Let's see how well you grasp the material of the neuron. Now let's go over our first quiz question. Which of the following is not a characteristic of a neuron? Is it A, they do not divide, B, they have longevity, C, they originate in the embryonic pharynx, or D, they have a high metabolic rate. Remember at the beginning of the video, I went over three special characteristics of a neuron. The first one was that they have a high metabolism. The second was that they have a longevity, meaning that they last us their whole life, 100 years. And then three, they do not divide. They can never be replaced. So those are the three special characteristics of a neuron. So the answer to this question would be C that they do not originate in the embryonic pharynx. That is not a special characteristic of it. So our answer is C. Now let's take our next quiz question. Let's see what the question says. This is called the soma of the neuron and has a single nucleus that is surrounded by cytoplasm. So let's think back to that drawing we had on the board. And let's see what our options are. A, nissel bodies. B, cell body. C, ganglion, or D, neutrofibrils. So, what are nissel bodies? Remember on the diagram that I had that those were the green little circles that were inside the cell body. What nissel bodies do are they renew the cell membrane. So we know that it's not that because we're looking for something that has a single nucleus in it and it's surrounded by cytoplasm and it's also called the soma. So let's look at the next option. The cell body. That is definitely the answer. The cell body is also called the soma, and it was the whole area where everything was inside of it, which are your nissel bodies, your nucleus, your lysosomes, your mitochondria. The cell body contains all of that. So the answer is cell body. But let's see why it wasn't C or D. It wasn't C, ganglion. We didn't even go over that term. That was just something in there to throw you off. And D, the neutrofibrils. Remember the neutrofibrils were those pink little strands within the cell body, and that was just to help keep the cell from collapsing, keep it strong. So that was the answer to that. Now, take rest of the quiz on my website, registerednursrn.com. A link should pop up so you can take that quiz and see how well you do and grasp this material. I wish you the best of luck on your anatomy and physiology exam coming up. And be sure to check out my other teaching tutorials with anatomy and physiology. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel.